Of all the warning lights you have on your dash, the ABS light seems like it could be easily ignored. But if you do, it could lead to some serious problems. Let's check it out. When your ABS light is on, that's warning you there's something wrong with the ABS system. Your vehicle is gonna drive just like it normally does until you get into a situation where you're going over dirt or rain or maybe snow and ice and you actually require ABS. To figure out what the problem is, you're gonna need a scan tool that can actually read ABS data. In our case, we happen to have a left front wheel speed sensor code. Majority of the time when you have an ABS light, it is gonna be a wheel speed sensor related code, which is good because they're fairly easy to repair. Before you even take anything apart, most scan tools that have the ability to just talk to the ABS modules and communicate, you can actually graph the data that's coming from the wheel speed sensor. What we're gonna do is put the graph up and then just turn the wheel by hand. You could also do this by driving around and monitoring the signals. Now while we spin the wheel, we should be noticing something on the graph and there's nothing, there's no the miles per hour are not going up. In some cases, you may notice that you see the graph go up a little bit and then there's a spike down or up. You may have a erratic code signal. In our case, we just have a circuit error, so it's almost like the sensor is completely disconnected. Now I'm gonna show you on the right side what it should look like. So now I'm gonna go over to the other side and spin the wheel while you watch the graph. See, that was spinning the wheel can see where that sensor is working properly. You can see that was one speed trying to stay steady and then it slowed down. So that's the way it should look. With the information that we have, we were able to narrow it down to being this wheel. Whereas if you didn't have any of that information from a scan tool, you're gonna to be looking at all four wheels. It's gonna take you way too long. So let's take the wheel off and take a look at it. You can see the wheel speed sensor right here, and you can find one of these located at each wheel. And this is what's gonna give the computer the signal how fast this wheel is spinning. Now it's a good idea to take a look at the wiring, see if there's anything obvious. Maybe one of the tires or wheels is rubbing on the wire causing an issue or it's even got a cut in it. You can even manipulate the wire while you're watching your graph, see if anything gets changed. You can disconnect the connector. Take a look on the inside, see if there's any obvious corrosion. Ours looks pretty good, so that's not the case here. The only thing left here is the wheel speed sensor or the tone ring. Let's go take a look at that on the bench. This is your ABS sensor, and this is gonna cause a lot of your ABS wheel speed sensor problems. You can get this sensor and a lot of these other components at 1AAuto.com. That's gonna fix your car up so you don't have any of these issues. And how this works is this is gonna be up next to a reluctor wheel or a tone ring. So this happens to be on the axle, but you could also have it on the inside of a hub bearing like this one. And most newer vehicles, it's gonna be on the back side of the hub bearing like this. This is a magnet and it's got little air gaps in between the magnet, so it's gonna sense that. As the wheel speeds up or slows down, it is checking for those air gaps. So if there is a problem with this ring, maybe some of the chips chipped off because of rust or some other road debris, maybe broke something, then that's gonna cause an issue with that. Replacing these sensors is actually pretty easy. You can definitely do this on your own. You wanna disconnect the connector, pull the bolt out, then you can grab the sensor. If it comes out easily, you can just pull it out. If not, you can use some pliers or even some prying tools to try to get that out. Take the new sensor, reinstall it, put the bolt in, snug it down, put the connector on, clear the code, and you should be good to go. Now, ABS is important, so you don't want to put this repair off. Most people think that ABS is just going to slow you down faster, and although that is the case, it's not the only reason you have ABS. It's so that in slippery situations, you don't lose control of the vehicle. It's gonna give you the ability to steer out of harm's way. So it's important when that light comes on, make sure you figure out what's going on and repair it as needed. 